Hi everyone, welcome back to another session with me. Uh, so today we will be trying a new version wherein we will be making three dishes together. This will help us to balance the time of preparation and to manage how to prepare multiple dishes at once. Okay. Uh, so talking about baba gram, it is nothing but sweetened yeast bread which is then soaked in a flavorful liquor made out of rum, orange zest, lemon zest and some spices. This can be uh, further glazed with some apricot jam or other flavor that depends on what uh, or how you would like to serve them. Okay. Okay, uh, so first we will start with baba gram. So here the process would be sponge and dough method. Sponge and dough method as we already discussed, we will be making first a base sponge using milk, yeast and flour. We will mix them together and keep them aside, let them to ferment for a while and then we will add up the rest of the ingredients and make the dough. Okay, so let's get started. So now that you have seen our dough for the baba or rum is ready, we need to let it rest for maybe 1 hour to 45 minutes. For which what I would do is maybe just close it with a damp cloth or use a clean film that would be helpful with the other option for us. The most easy and the best way because once you are done with this, you all have to do is to just discard it. Okay? Right, so our dough is ready to leave it for resting or fermentation. Let's wait. Okay, now we can see that our bubble rum is almost ready to be go into the oven. So all we need to do is discard our tin wrap, and as here also you can see. It's already raised to the quantity required, okay? So let's transfer them into the oven for baking. So, so same as before, our products are ready to go into the oven. So the temperature is done, 200 degrees ready. All we need to do is slide this into the oven. Timer is also being set for 20 minutes. Once the timer goes off, we will check with the products and then continue. 